Well, today is our third day in Paris. <laughs> Luxembourg Gardens. Let's go check it out. The gardens are actually part of Luxembourg Palace that was created by the widow of King Henry IV of France in 1612. The palace itself is actually used by the French Senate as a meeting place. When you look at the parks in England, how do they feel? They feel more, maybe wild seeming, yeah. a bit more not controlled. So this is the difference between French garden design and British park garden design. So here everything is controlled and it's all symmetrical. Yeah. So this is the French style, it's also the Italian style. So. Why do you think a place like this is so important for people in Paris? So it's very rare that anyone actually has a garden in Paris. So big open spaces like this are essential to them. So this is perfect conditions to be doing drawing. Now please don't, as I said, don't worry about a thing. We've got lots of exercises to help you. When you're doing quite quick drawings, you'll see we've got quite small sketchbooks. So we'll be there to help and if you have any questions, please do ask. Drawing, whether you're good at it or not, allows you to take the time to really study something whether it's a tree, architecture, or people, it really allows you to get to know things on a more intimate level. And that's really what this exercise was all about. So I enjoyed hanging out at Luxembourg Gardens. Um, we got to do some drawing, and uh, now the little boats are out on the pond here in the fountain. <laughs> um, just a really nice place and a wonderful day out here. Couldn't ask for better. As we left the gardens, it was time to go off into Paris and find some lunch and explore. After seven days away from home, it seemed like everybody wanted American food, so that's what we found. We made up for our Americanized lunch by checking out some local shops like this cheese shop and of course a patisserie where we pooled our money together to get a bunch of different things to try. Between lunch and all the sweets, we were definitely content and ready for the next thing. We're gonna go check out this Cimetière du Paris La Chasse. I probably murdered that, but 1804 cemetery. Let's go check it out. The La Chasse Cemetery is the largest in the city of Paris and was established in 1804. It not only ranks as the most visited cemetery in the world by about 3.5 million, but is also the final resting place of some very famous people. The composition you're hearing is the funeral march by Chopin himself. So 
So it's about 7.30 and we're gonna be uh, heading over to do a nice little cruise down the Seine here this evening. Uh, of course, it's one of the longest days of the summer so it's not gonna get too dark, but it'll get duskish, <laughs> which will be really nice. I'm looking forward to it. What is, what is the word for new in French? Nouveau. Nouveau, yeah. So if we make that shorter, it's neuf. It was neuf in the old days anyway. So it's a little stretch. So this means, in that case, it means the? New bridge. New, new bridge. bridge. Yeah. Now, does it look new? No. no. How old do you reckon it is? 300 odd years. This dude up there is called Henry Navarre. So he's about 16 something ish. He built it. The reason it's called a new bridge and it still stands, even though, so it's the oldest bridge in Paris. And it was the first bridge to be built out of stone. All the ones before that were built out of? Wood. Wood. So they were Ponte Legno, which is Italian, sorry. Open eye. Through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights paint the skies all because of you. Another amazing day in Paris comes to an end, but we have one more day left, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, remember to click that like button, and of course, subscribe to see more adventures.